I'm here today in Wellington and I've got Wellington Royalty with me. I've got Emeritus Mayor Campbell Gregory. Campbell, you were Mayor from about 87 to 90 and then 95 to 98. So you, you did a few years as Mayor over two stints, but what's your general take on, on where we sit at the moment in Wellington? Uh, Wellington is the same as the rest of the country. I think people generally are worried about our representatives, whether it be federal, whether it be state or local. And uh, this is what's happening now. Now, we're having in Dubbo an independent standing uh, with a great deal of, of following on, without any doubt about that. And quite re disregarding of his popularity, uh, we will find that a lot of people will move away from the major parties and we go for independence. In Wellington, in our case, Dubbo case, uh, it could well be the difference between the uh, whoever holds the power. And I think the Labor Party and the Liberal Party and the National Party together uh, may not really have enough numbers in their own right. Yeah, let's say I was elected as an independent. Do you see that as being a very positive thing for this electorate? Oh, look, members of parliament are supposed to be responsible for their electorate. That's, their, oh, that's, that's the whole thing. So without that, what, what's the point of it? Really? So, yeah, it, it is a very... Uh, it's a basic thing, having, having your representative doing what you think they should be doing. And that's the employment of them. Yeah. So you've been a long-term member of the National Party? Yes, I have been a long-term member of the National Party and I'm now changing my vote to an independent. And I believe the National Party haven't performed as I'd expected them to perform. Maybe they've been inhibited with their, uh, their coalition with the Liberals, maybe they haven't. But the fact is, we're not getting performance out of them. So that must have been, from your perspective, a pretty big decision to make, to say, I've been a long-term member of the Nats and I'm going to make a difference in this election. Oh, look. One time I even stood for pre-selection for the National Party. That was a long time ago. So things have changed. And you can't, you can't go back to the old times. You can't go back to those times. What we've got to get to, in all lots of government, the three tiers of government, is that your elected, elected person should be doing what your electorate wants them to do. Yep, that's a, that's a very strong message I'm hearing throughout the whole electorate. Well, I hope it is, uh, because that, that's the general feeling the people that I talk to, whether they be the people working in, uh, in wool sheds or whether they be people working in everything. They're all saying the same thing. Yep. But certainly many people will at least question, like I'm doing, is questioning whether we, the ways that uh, we're drifting now are the right ways. But one of the things that would have been, I think, most interesting in your time as mayor was the bridge. Of course, on the 6th of January 1989, the Wellington Bridge collapsed. So how was that experience as mayor? Well, the bridge was a, a very un, un, uninspiring thing. I didn't believe that the bridge would be fallen down. In fact, the bridge was knocked down, not, not falling down. Correct, yeah. So, yeah, and we, we, it, was, it was the aftermath of the bridge that was the part that uh, I remember most. Yeah, right. And that was the toing and froing of pontoon bridges, railway bridges, other bridges. And the inconvenience, Wellington was completely isolated. Yeah. You, you could not get to Dubbo. And I lived the other side of the bridge to get to council. So how did you get, when, I mean, obviously the pontoon bridge and the railway bridge were used temporarily, but before that, how did you get from this side of the river well, across to your farm? <laughs> well, firstly, firstly with a boat. <laughs> I, I got backwards and forwards because it was a continuing, a continuing thing and we had... The councillors were very, uh, you know, very jumpy about it, and well made they have been. Yeah. Big, 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 big meeting in the RSO or auditorium to explain exactly where we're up to before I'd even told the councillors that things have to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. A, lo a long time ago. Yeah, but certainly we've been interesting times. We spent a couple of hours talking about you know, a whole range of things. It's been fascinating having a chat to you, and I, I, I love that background and experience, talking to someone with your experience, it is great to actually sit there and, and go through and get a really good view of that Wellington history. So I appreciate your time. Thank you for your support. It's been a pleasure to be talking to you, Matt, and uh, I look forward to working with you uh, and for you to the next uh, uh, voting, 23rd of March. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Campbell. Good. Right. Thanks, mate.